Hey, beautiful people, how's it going? I'm your girl, Hugo Terrell Shea. So I know that y'all love when I do the weekly forecast. I see, like, I be getting a lot of messages like, girl, thank you so much. He actually did call me on Tuesday, like he said. Me and him spent time on Thursday. Friday, I got messages like, y'all like these. So this is something I'm gonna constantly do, okay? Um, and yeah, I'm glad that y'all enjoy these weekly forecasts because I like doing them for you all. Um, they are general, so like I said, if something doesn't happen that week, it can mean it's just the energy, how they're feeling. Maybe they want to come back, maybe they want to say something, maybe they don't have the courage, okay? So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into another one. So we're going to do today, which is August 4th, Sunday to August 9th, okay? So that's going to be your full week up ahead, what you can expect, what you can look forward to. There's a bunch of messages in here. So anything is liable to come out. It don't have to necessarily be about love or your person. It could be about a job. It could be about anything, okay? But usually these are based on, you know, just the energy, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank y'all for joining me. Like I said, I am your girl, Hogger Crochet. If you'd like to look at reading, please click the link in the description box, which takes you to my Twitter account. Or you can email me at hotgirltarotshay, all right? Um, I don't check my email often, but I do try to take check it at least two or three. Not often, but I do try to check it, okay? I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, so if, if, I, if I don't respond back quick enough for you, just go over to Twitter and at me and say, hey girl, check email, or hey, I'm writing you for about a reading, okay? Um, also, just go over there and follow, okay? I have a lit community over there as well, okay? Everybody is, for the most part, pretty chill, okay? <laughs> but I do post daily collective messages over there for all the signs. So if you're looking, for, if I don't post for a couple days, I'm usually over there on Twitter, okay? I'm, more than likely, I'm on Twitter, all right? Let's go ahead and get started. So, Spirit, help me clarify these messages. What can the collective look forward to for their weekly forecast any and everything you need to let them know for this upcoming week so we're going to do today august 4th what can they expect today spirit sunday monday august 5th tuesday august 6th We got Wednesday, August 7th. We have Thursday, August 8th. And Friday, oops, August 9th, Spirit. Someone's favorite color could be green. So let's see your day to day, okay? What y'all can look forward to. I'll move this one down here and think the top three at the bottom. All right. So August 4th is on Sunday, August 5th on the Monday, August 6th on the Tuesday, August 7th on Wednesday. Hold on. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. So August 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. Okay. I was like, hold on now. <laughs> All right, August 4th on a Sunday. Oh, upside down. It says quiet because they're plotting on their next move. So for some of you today, your person may not be reaching out, okay? So some of you may not be expecting much of anything because they're quiet because this person is plotting something collective, okay? This person could be trying to think of their next move, how they're going to approach you, what they're going to say. They're plotting on their next move, okay? So Spirit, let me clarify these messages for the collective's highest good. This is for August 4th on a Sunday, which is today. This is quiet because they're plotting their next move. Yep. So somebody here, you are definitely going to be on somebody's mind, okay? Just know today, you Sunday, somebody here woke up, looked at the sun, and thought about you, okay? Rise and shine is what I'm hearing. So some of you are the first thing that was on this person's mind this morning, okay? And they're figuring out how to come towards you. This person, that, yeah, look, nostalgia, okay? We have missing you. So somebody here is definitely missing you, collective. Missing you so bad. So let's get into it. Spirit, help me clarify these messages about the collectives. Person. 
So it says quiet because they're plotting their next move. Thinking of the collective, crying, nostalgic, missing the collective. Quiet because they're plotting their next move. Yep. Because it's like, since you walked away, they don't know what to say, what to do. So you can be dealing with a Pisces. This is somebody that you withdrew your energy from. So definitely, yes, they're going to be thinking about you. Okay, yeah, but somebody here thinking, even though you walked away, they're thinking about coming back. Like some of you, this person could have walked away from you, but they want to come in here with some type of proposal. Okay, somebody who wants to have a passionate new beginning. Quiet because they're plotting on their next move, August 4th, Sunday. Yep, somebody here it knows it's going to be a challenge to get you back. That's probably why they're just in their head right now. This is my who's trying to maintain some type of control. Okay, somebody here wants to protect this union. It's like they don't want you to leave them. What's the seven of wands for quiet because they're plotting their next move? Yep, some of you, they're watching you. Okay, the page of swords is like my plotting card, really. Because this is somebody here who's very curious about what you got going on. This is somebody here who's constantly thinking about you. Like, how can I approach the collective? What can I say? I'm missing the collective. I'm thinking about the collective. The first thing on my mind, the last thing on my mind. I'm hearing songs. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things. So somebody here could definitely be like, uh, be definitely on your social media watching you. They may get like a, maybe the earliest morning they looked and checked your story. Some of you, they, they you know. They're taking some type of action to see what you got going on. Clarify the, clarify the page of swords. Quiet because they're plotting on their next move. Yeah, so somebody here can, you, they may watch you from like another page because it's a sneaky energy. Could be an Aquarius, another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We got Leo energy. We got Pisces energy. Okay, there's somebody here who's watching because they, they know they did you wrong. Okay, yeah, somebody here is not letting you go. This person's obsessed with you. Could be a Capricorn. This is my hero knows they betrayed you, but they're acting very strategic when they come towards you. Okay? What is the seven of swords acting strategic? Why are they having to act strategic when it comes to the collective? Yeah, this is my hero knows they got to fight to have an opportunity here with you. Okay? If they want you, they have to fight. Could be a Leo or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Because this person was out here giving to everybody else but you, but the connection but the love that you wanted from them. So somebody here knows that they got to definitely fight to be with you. If they want this chance, they, they have to fight for it. Okay, so let's move on. August 5th on a Monday, ready to clap them cheeks again. Ooh, see, I'm maybe getting like a little text message from this person. Like, look, it's been a while. I want that thing. I need that thing. <laughs> okay, so somebody here is either going to be thinking about how you put it on them real good or they're gonna be hitting you up like can i have some please august 5th ready to clap them cheeks again yeah because you and this person haven't been talking some of you have blocked this person y'all giving them the silent treatment you cut them off you cut off all types of communication with this person okay y'all not playing some of you are in this energy where you're in the self-love energy you're doing you and this person just kind of like damn i miss the collective damn i miss that Let's see who this is, Collective. It says, ready to, to clap them cheeks again on Monday, August 5th. Ready to clap them cheeks again. Yeah, somebody here gonna definitely be trying to have this. They want to come in here with this, like, this could be definitely a player, okay? It could be Aries or Sagittarius. They come in here with this passionate energy. Because some of you, it's like they stuck on that. They crave your sex. They miss it so bad. What's the Knight of Wands? Ready to clap them cheeks again. Some of you ain't been talking to them, so it's like, yeah, look. See, some of you, they feel like y'all been putting them on, like, um, punishment. Some of you, they have been holding back from sleeping with anybody else because they want you. This is my here who feel like they're lacking control. They could be having a lot of aggression. So, yeah, somebody here definitely wants you, want you collective. They want you real bad. And they feel like they want to now. I feel like that's not the only reason why they want to work towards this. But I feel like this person want to try to, look, I ain't been sleeping around with nobody. I've been waiting on you. Okay, I don't want this. Somebody here, somebody here haven't been able to like think straight. Okay, that they out of control. Okay, with the chariot in reverse, could be a can't say they out of control. The chariot in reverse, we're ready to clap the collective cheeks. Yeah, so somebody here is just feeling it. Yeah, some type of change. So some of you, they they not sleeping with nobody else. For some of you, and for everybody, or for some of you, they have been sleeping around, but it don't. The the, the people don't, or who they been sleeping with don't do it for them. Because they're too busy wanting to be with you, wanting to clap your cheeks. The chariot in reverse. Somebody's like you put them on 
on uh, punishment. Like somebody here is used to maybe sleeping around with you or having that moment, but it's like they don't have that with you. Yeah, look, the Empress. I'm telling you, nobody does it for them like you. It's, it's something about you. Some of you, this could be, you could be this person's baby mama, baby daddy. Some of you, uh, could, this could be a Taurus energy, but there's somebody here who I feel like they they look at you as somebody that they, they want to sleep with. You know, they want to have that. Some of you could be have been the distance from this person person but it's like they wonder a lot like is anybody else getting it since they're not talking to me collected them cut me off all contact communication but it's because you give this empress energy somebody here they want to clap your cheeks because the empress don't let everybody touch her or him okay just switch the roles you know your love is different your sex is different the way you look is different okay some of you may have a unique style you know you, you put that shit on you look good you, you sit on your throne okay and it's like somebody's like I just, for some of you, this person has been sleeping around with somebody else or other people, but it don't. It's something about you because they know it's not appreciated. They don't appreciate that because they know they can just call that person up. That boom, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Eleven, eleven on the timer. But when it comes to you, it's like you make this person work for it. You know, you don't give this person easy access to you. Basically, is what I'm saying. All right, August. Let's see. We got August fourth, fifth. Let's do August 6th on the Tuesday. You get tired of their bullshit. Yeah. So some of you, like, you you don't want to be involved with this person, okay? You may be fed up at the point. You may be kind of over this person. It says, the collective is tired of this person's bullshit. August 6th on the Tuesday. Yeah, some of you, you too busy abundant. You too busy in your bag. You making money, okay? You happy, okay? You, you, some of you can be an entrepreneur, so you could be, like, get up in the morning, you know, working on your business. Some of you, you know, you got, um, maybe there's some type of, like, legal matters you got to do it. But some of you are just in this money-making energy, okay? You could care less how this person feels, what they want from you. You are making it rain, okay? You're living, you're living your best life. When you say, I ain't going back, back and forth with you, okay? So some of you are not going back and forth with nobody. You tired, you really tired of this person's bullshit. You feel like, some of you feel like you're in a constant loop with this person, it's like, when are we going to get to the good part? When are you going to step it up? When are you going to switch it up? Like, you know, you're kind of over it. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Since you're tired of their bullshit, make it rain, manifest in abundance. So some of you, yeah. See, some of you taking action. Okay, some of you taking more control. See, you, that's why they want to clap them cheeks because you have this empress energy. But see, you're very nurturing and caring. But for some of you, 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 you taking control now. Okay, you're not really in your feelings as much as you was about this person. Some of you are just ready to just work on you. You're taking authority over your life. You're not letting this person just think they can walk all over you. Because see, some of you, you in this like self-care energy. You see how she's getting a facial and getting her skin right or getting his skin together. You know, you're doing things that make you feel better to keep this person off your mind. You know, you're, you, you are having more structure in your life. You are disciplined. You're controlling yourself. You know, it's like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm controlling me. I'm not letting you control the dynamic anymore. When I let you control it, your ass was doing everything else that you was not supposed to be doing. Okay? You're tired of their bullshit. Yeah. You love them. You care about them. But you're tired of it. Okay? It's like, I got to love you from a distance. It can be an Aries. Yeah. So you had to end this situation to have a new beginning. So you had to get back focused on your work, on your finances. You're tired of their bullshit. Yeah. Could be a Libra, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Pisces energy. But I do feel like even though you are tired, I feel like this person's not going to give up on you. Especially if you are coming off in this like energy where you are more in control of you and you're not taking their bullshit. Yeah, this person's going to be trying to come in here trying to talk to you. Yeah, somebody's on their way to you, collective. So some of you, you may be reconciling by Sunday, Monday. By Tuesday, some of you may be getting a message from this person. They may be trying to take some type of authority to come towards you to figure something out. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Let's go to Wednesday, August 7th. Yeah, trying to keep their cool, but they're losing it. Wednesday, August 7th. Wednesday, August 7th. Trying to keep their cool, but they're losing it. Yep. See, some of you, they are coming in here. See, the fight card came out in reverse, but um, 
you know, I'm only taking one with these. But this person is is not wanting to fight with you collective. They want to fight for the connect connection, but they don't want to fight with you no more. They don't want to be on bad terms. They don't want their number blocked anymore, okay? This somebody here, by Thursday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, wait, Sunday, Monday, yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, by August 7th. Some of you are going to be getting some type of text, call, asking you to meet up. This has been in their plans, okay? So don't think like, oh, they just, out of nowhere, they just hit me up today. No, somebody, this person has been planning on coming back to you. But see, y'all been in, y'all have kept them blocked, or y'all have no one to talk to them, or y'all have no one to see them, okay? It's like you're doing your own thing right now, okay? But this person, collective, they're trying to keep their cool, but they're really losing it. And somebody here is finally going to bite the bullet and text you. Or for some of you, by Wednesday, they are going to, this is just a plan. Like, they're planning to come towards you sometime this month. Trying to keep their cool, but they're losing it. Planning a text, a phone call, a meeting up. Yeah, somebody who wants to, like, if they're hoping that when they come towards you that things could be, like, good. Like, y'all could be okay. Somebody here is coming in here with a lot of self-confidence. Could be a Leo. Yeah, because somebody feels has a deep love for you and they want to reconcile with you. This person wants a second chance to make things right. Trying to keep their cool, but they're losing it. Yeah. And some of you, you know, it's like you, you coming, like you coming off in this energy, like you, you're very clear on what you want. You set boundaries and it's making them want you even more. Trying to keep their cool, but they're losing it. Mm-hmm. Be a Sagittarius. We also got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So, or this could be your sign, but you, you're very independent. You're very direct with what you want. And I feel like you're not you're not breadcrumbing yourself with this person. You're like, no. Some of you may not want nothing to do with this person, but some of you you may want things to be right, but you're just tired of feeling like you're going in circles. So you gotta like set your set boundaries, trying to keep that cool, but they're losing it. Yeah, somebody here may want to come in here and tell you the truth, collective. Okay, somebody here wants to have fun again with you. They want everything to be all right with you. Somebody here really wants to move on and have a new beginning with you. Okay, somebody here wants to leave the pa leave the baggage behind and just move forward. Okay, they're just ready to move forward is what I'm hearing. So now we got August 8th on a Thursday. It says, miss the bond that you two have. Yep. It's something about your love, collective. It's something about how real you keep it. Your loyalty. Okay, it's out this world. Miss the bond that you two have. Thursday, August 8th. Yeah, somebody here could be very jealous. Your person could be very jealous, envious, spiteful, because they may feel like, well, I have that with the collective. Now I don't have that anymore. Now they're mad about it. Yeah, but some of you, you may hear from this person by, by Thursday, August 8th. They're going to start some type of conversation. Because this is somebody here who, who could have got caught or was doing something behind your back. Is miss the bond you two had envy hater spiteful jealousy yeah there's somebody here who knows if they weren't out here giving to other situations y'all two would have been okay could have been a taurus miss the bond that you two had yeah look scorpio energy somebody here is definitely regretting the decisions that they made yeah it could be a libra somebody here is very heartbroken because it's like damn how do i get back to the collective how do i get back to their heart again somebody here knows that they possibly have lost you you got love for them. They know you love them, but they know you're not fucking with them no more. And somebody is in a lot of hurt behind the third party situation because they shouldn't have done that. Clarify the uh, five of cups for Mr. Bond that you two had. Yeah, some of you definitely was somebody who was out of this person's league to begin with. You brought a lot of peace to this person's life. Okay, this is somebody here who they definitely saw like them marrying you and settling down and y'all having a family, being independent. Okay, you were somebody who was very focused on y'all life and what you wanted. You, you always said, you know, I want it, this is what I want out of life. Like you somebody here that knew what you wanted. You, you were not playing no games. You knew exactly what you wanted, but for some of you, you had to close this out. You, you, you always think about the bond and the love and all that, but it's like, it don't mean nothing if, if you're not going to act right. You know, like, I just got to love you from a distance, okay? So last but not least, we got Friday, August 9th. They thought you'd keep letting them come back. So for some of you by this week, somebody here could be just trying their luck with you, trying every way to win you back, talk to you, pull up on you, whatever. But it's probably going to come down by the end of this week. They're going to realize that the collective is not letting you come back, 
okay? So maybe either they're gonna think of more skills to win you back or, you know, they're gonna give you time for a minute and then they're gonna come right back again. You know, as soon as you think like, well, they're not talking to me anymore. Or they're not calling me back. It's because they're plotting. This person got to stay thinking of the, the best next move when it comes to you. Friday, August 9th. It says they thought you'd keep letting them come back. Yep. See, and the reason why they can't come back is because you love you different. I'm not saying you didn't love yourself before. But those who are like, I always love myself. What are you talking about? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying right now in this kind of energy, you are loving on you more. You're not accepting what you used to accept. Things unchanged, okay? And that's why some of you are okay with avoiding this person because they're toxic. They got addictions, okay? You're tired of one minute feeling like, okay, we're on track. Then boom, you want somebody who you know is going to assure you, reassure you that everything is going to be okay. And it's not by what they say, it's by what they do. How they show up, the effort that they make. So it's like, if I'm being this good man, a good woman to you, and I can talk and get things through to you, why are you not doing your part? So some of you had to take back control. Some of you had to take back control over yourself. Some of you had to realize, look, I can't keep going by your way. You're not leading me the right way. You're not loving me the right way. So you are in this energy where you are solely focused on you. You and only you. But for some of you, this person is so toxic or they're so insecure or whatever, they may feel like you're with somebody else, but it's like, bro, it's not even about nobody else. It's about the fact that I'm loving me on a different level right now. Maybe I didn't, I didn't, I, because I didn't love myself the way that I needed to, I kept allowing you to treat me however. I kept allowing you to just put me last, save me for later. I'm not no longer doing that. Either, either I come first or that's it. Like, I want to be a priority, especially when I make you a priority. I want to be a priority too. And if that's not something you can do, then that's fine. Go ahead and go be with those who, who who require the bare minimum because I no longer require the bare minimum. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. It says they thought you keep letting them come back Friday, August 9th. Yeah. Since I told y'all Capricorn Gemini, somebody here is is not letting you go. But they, like I said, they so toxic and they so full of themselves. They feel like the cleft ain't going nowhere. I know how to come in and clap them cheeks and make them feel good. I, I know how to, I know those spots. And some of you, they do. 22, 22 on the time. And some of you, they definitely do know how to do what they do. Okay? But that's this attachment. Somebody here feel like, some of you, they may start acting very, like, toxic or doing something toxic. What's the devil energy? They thought you keep letting them come back. Yeah. But somebody here, I'm being for a rude awakening. This, this something, this person don't want to end things with you. So either they come in here being toxic or because you won't let them have their way, then they go do things to try to like get an arouse out of you or try to make you be like, you know, if they feel, if, if they post another girl, if they doing this or doing that, they feel like, oh, well, if I do this and she don't come call me or text me. Some of you, you really don't give a fuck is what I'm hearing. Like, I don't care. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing you say, say, I don't care. But I'm telling you, this person is going to keep doing things to try to get your attention. So that you come rushing into them. But I feel like that's not happening. They thought you keep letting them come back. Yeah. And some of you, you did, you know. You made it, maybe let this person work hard for a little bit and then you let them back in. But I feel like this time, it's not going to work. They're going to be full, like, of disappointment because you're not allowing them back in. Yeah, some of you are ending things and you're choosing to be single. you like, look, my home life is good. My bills are paid. You know, like, the, the things that you weren't really focusing on because this person was too much... You were too much focused on, you're focused on your livelihood. Some of you are solely focused on your money, you being happy, that's it. And and being around people who love you. Y'all have definitely awakened to this connection or just for what it is. And it's like, I'm not going to sit up here and, excuse me, try to change you or make you want to be better or do better. If, if you don't want to do right, that is solely on you. All right, so I'm going to pull you some extra messages. So, let's see. So, it says, quiet because they're plotting on their next move. I'm done with the streets. I want to come home to you. So, for some of you, August 4th, they, they're going to let you know that they're done with the fighting. They're done with the streets. They're done being out. They want to come home to you, okay? Like, they had their fun. They had all that is out their system. Or at least they feel like it's out of their system and they're ready to come home. August 5th on a Monday, ready to clap them cheeks. So some of you could be an earth sign or if you're dealing with an earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Let's see, August 6th on a Tuesday. Tired of their bullshit. 
It says, I don't care about him or her. There's someone I can use and walk all over no respect. So some of you, they could definitely be dealing with somebody else, or you may know they're dealing with somebody else or was dealing with somebody else, but and that's why you just just tired. That's why you want to focus on your money and whatever else. But somebody here may let you know, like, look, I don't care about who the other person that I'm dealing with. They're nobody to me. I want you and only you. Okay. Um Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, August 7th. Trying to get, trying to keep their cool, but they're losing it. It says, it's no way I'm giving up on us. Too much history, yeah. So, some of you are going to let you know, like, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not letting you go. Okay? We got Thursday, August 8th, Spirit. Miss the bond you two had. Friday, when it comes to you. So, some of you may be hearing this song. That's definitely the confirmation that your person is um, thinking about you, Okay? So some of you may need to hear that song Friday when it comes to you. That could definitely be like significant in y'all's situation. And then we got Friday, August 9th. They thought you'd keep letting them come back. I haven't been reaching out to you because I know I fucked up this time. I'm sorry. So some of you, that's y'all's confirmation. That's why they, you know, they thought you'd keep letting them come back. But at the same time, they haven't been reaching out to you because of the fact that they know they messed up with you, okay? So some of you are like, well, they ain't, you ain't been hitting me up, so why you hitting me up now? Yeah, I see you with her, I see you with him, but they're like, I don't care about whoever I'm with. That's just for show. That's for, so I get a little, a, a little quick bonus, okay? I gotta make it look good. I'm a player, this is what I do. Look, and some of you, they have also been reaching out to you because they get personal readings on you sometimes. So it's kind of like, they know you're not gonna talk to them, so they're like, well, I might as well just go get a reading. Let me go book with somebody and get a reading. And, and and see what's up with the collective. You know, let, let me see what's up with them. Let me see what's going on. Um, Yeah, let me see what's going on with them. Because they ain't going to talk to me. So let me just go book a personal reading. All right, any other messages for this week ahead for August 4th through August 9th? It says, can't nobody say they've had me like you've had me? August 4th through August 9th. I can get really crazy about you, so don't try no shit. Uh oh. So some of you, this person gonna make it clear, like I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on you real bad this week, okay? August fourth through August 9th. I was only with him or her to get a reaction out of you, but don't, but you didn't care. Yeah. So some of you, that's what it was. Some of you didn't have no care for this other person that they were dealing with, or they just want to get a reaction out of you. That's that toxic way. This is I haven't, I haven't get my shit together for you and only you. These others just are just here to pass the time by. I don't give. I don't give my heart to no one. What else? August 4th through August 9th. Double back, Coco Jones. I'm telling you, somebody coming back to you this week. Think twice before moving crazy on me. I'm always watching you. So somebody here is definitely, yeah, y'all got a toxic lover. Could be an air sign, a crash on my Libra. We also got earth sign came out. What else for August 4th through August 9th? You stay on my mind even when I'm with someone else, not over you. You think I'm going to let another have you? Yeah, all right. Crazy ass lover. I told y'all. August 4th through August 9th. I swear I won't. I swear I want our future to be better. Better. You don't even know the half of what I have planned for us. Could be a Scorpio. August 4th through August 9th. Glowing and growing. Love that for you. So somebody here definitely see you doing your thing. You shining bright. You in your own little world. Like you having fun. You living your life. Like, you're not sitting around waiting on this person to call you, text you, and they see you moving right on. August 4th through August 9th. Still in love with you. I know you feel it, too. Could be a cancer. August 4th through August 9th. I'm in love with you. That's just that. Let me have three more for August 4th through August 9th, spirit. August 4th through August 9th. Could be a Sagittarius. This is I love your body. Keep doing what you're doing. Chris Brown residuals. So you got Coco Jones doubling back. Chris Brown with digital residuals and Friday when it comes to you. So it's definitely the songs y'all need to listen to when it comes to your person. Okay? And somebody here is not letting up. Somebody is not letting letting this connection go. You may think they have, you may think they're over you, you may think they're done, but Spirit is saying, nope, not this person. So I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in and I'll see y'all later. Peace.